Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, this is the Radicator, and today we are playing against Star Citizen Alpha 3.6.0, this is of course the Persistent Universe, we are above Daymar, I'm sorry, with a nice constellation, this is of course my loner ship for the Mercury that I am eagerly waiting, I hope it's going to come for 3.10 or 4.0, however they're going to call it, since we're going to have Crusader next year. It would make sense to have Crusader ship. Anyway, I'm not here to rent. I am here to uh, to try delivery missions, guys. That's what we're doing here. And we need to pick up a shipment uh, from the Arcorp refinery on Daymar, and we're going to deliver it on Lear Yaving. So that's going to be an interesting journey, definitely. Uh, one a, a classic gameplay loop from Star Citizen. Some of those gameplay loops that we've been doing since the beginning of the three point of the or the three or three point oh, basically since we've had delivery missions uh, a while back. And um, well, we're making our approach. We're going to try the VTOL, uh, VTOL system, uh, vertical takeoff and landings. I know how to say it now, guys. <laughs> uh, nice. I'm really enjoying that little, I think it's twilight, maybe, or maybe yeah, it is twilight. I'm enjoying this little twilight over Daymar as I'm approaching the Arcorp refinery. Uh, refi refi refinery, refinery. Yeah, that's how you say it. refinery. The Aqua refinery, and uh, I'll be picking up uh, this shipment right away if I don't crash or if I don't have any uh, any major issues. The key is, of course, to control your speed, reduce your speed. Uh, uh, probably at around 50 as you get close to 1500 meters. There we go. As you do that, when your speed is uh, slow enough, the VTOL mode is going to take over, which is exactly what is happening here. Just press S to slow down. That's what I'm doing here. Just press S and uh, uh, press uh, D to strafe either on the right side or A to strafe on the left side. That's what I'm doing. Basically, this flies like a helicopter. This is not flying like a plane when the VTOL, is, VTOL mode is on, which is a little bit off. I have to admit that uh, it really took me a couple of days to get used to it. I'm still not very used to it, uh, you know, going to uh, <laughs> going to our corp or you. Am I ever going to stop? Oh no, this is a failure. You can see here, not doing so good. <laughs> This is not a very good land. This is not a very good landing. So we're going to turn the engines on again, and we'll try for another path. As you can see, it takes a couple of days to get used to it, and I am a little bit scared of the day I'll have to go to Area 18 or Lorville. But these pads here are good training for future missions to more challenging outposts. I would say. Anyway, I think we should be above that landing pad now. So let's go down. Ah, failed again. Probably I'm gonna have to go even closer to the ground, I would say. Let's go for another path. Let's go for another path. It's kind of square-ish, so I guess I can stop here, right? Okay, what if I go down here? Let's try. We're going to turn off the thrusters a little bit so the ship gently goes down. Just like that. Just like as you guys have been suggested, uh, suggesting in the comments for quite some time. Look at that beautiful landing. Amazing. Now, for some reason, the nose of the constellation is always <laughs> touching the ground, but that was gently done. I am quite proud of this landing. This was not an easy landing to do, of course, but, um, you know, another happy landing, as as uh, Obi-Wan would say. So, let's go down there. Alright, go up. And let's see where is our where's our pickup going to be? There we go, seventy meters. Whoa! What? Oh my! What a <laughs> no! No 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 no! Oh my! Did it just? Did it? 
My gosh. I can't believe what happened, guys. Um, so, I can't believe it, but my constellation landed perfectly. S some guy just crashed my constellation. But eventually, it perfectly landed somewhere, <laughs> you know, around the mining facility. Uh, that is quite amazing. So, so I had a chat. Uh, originally, I thought that, that some guy in the Vanguard was griefing me, but apparently, uh, that player with a Vanguard lost control of his ship. You know, he, he, he was also experimenting the VTOL mode. He lost control of his ship <laughs> with the VTOL mode and crashed into my constellation. My constellation somehow survived. I mean, the elevator is working, right? It, it, it doesn't look in good shape, but for some reason I'm able to go back into my constellation. Is it going to take off? Well, that's going to be very interesting. We're going to find this out very soon. I can't believe what happened, guys. Did you did you guys see that? That this is quite amazing. So some guy lost control of their ship in VTOL mode. Let's place this here. Is it gonna work? Mm, nah, for some reason, I can't I can't put boxes here. Normally I can. Let's try again. Come on, put your box on the table. No, it doesn't want to go on the table. Well, we'll just put it down here. Guys, this is really incredible. So for some reason, some guy lost control of their ship. Crashed into my constellation. The constellation bounced away like there was no tomorrow. You guys saw that. And it just landed. I think I just lost, I just lost one engine. We're going to check it out very soon. Let's, let's get the flight ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. I lost an engine. That's all that happened. I can't believe it. I can't believe what happened, guys. Anyway, um, we are going to try to take off, I suppose. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just press I uh, to turn the engines on again, and let's make sure that we also put the thruster power at one hundred percent, which is what I did. All right, here we go. Uh, am I am I going to be able to take off? Well, things are not looking very good. I think the VTOL mod is stuck. Mm. I think VTOL mod is stuck. I can't get... Yeah, yeah it's definitely stuck. But I'm still picking altitude, I'm pressing space, I'm pressing the space bar, and I'm also making sure that the afterburner is running. This is how I'm getting some altitude. We'll try to get the atmosphere as much as possible. Once we leave the atmosphere, we'll be able to engage quantum drive. I, I've already tr been in that situation in the PDU before. You can actually engage the quantum drive even if your ship is stuck in VTOL mode. When you are in space, the VTOL mode is not working anymore. Normally, at least that's from my own experience. We're going to see how this goes here. Yeah, to pressing the external view, we could see that uh, the little panels were not working. Now, it could also be a misfire, which is why I did press uh, a turn of the control turn again, but even by doing so, the VTOL mode is still engaged. That's okay, we're still picking up altitude. Still picking up altitude. So there's that guy in the, that guy in the vanguard who uh, must be... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe, new, <laughs> maybe new at flying this. I don't know. It could have been me. I could have done that too. Anyway, uh, I see that there's a station here. which We'll just go to the closest place possible and make our way out of here to see if this disengages the the uh, the VTOL mode, but normally it should. Normally it should. We're gonna check it out. So we're now at Kovalex Shopping Hub Gondo, Shipping Hub Gondo, and yes, the VTOL mode is disengaged. As you can see, it's not written VTOL on the right side of the HUD anymore. So we're good now. We're good to go. Excellent. I know a lot of you guys have been experiencing the VTOL mode stuck like that. Uh, it's good to see that there are workarounds to get rid of the VTOL mode, even if it's stuck. Uh, 
you know, on, on your ship. So we're gonna we're gonna need some repairs. Obviously, we can't go to Lear like that. Uh, we're probably going to get some repairs on the you know halfway. We're probably going to go to Crusader Four. That's where we're gonna get some repairs. Um, no, 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 no. This is our corp. I don't want to go to our corp. <laughs> of course, I'm still uh, back. You know, as I can see, I'm writing in the chat. Uh, whoever tried to grief me, great content for the channel. I <laughs> uh, hope you'll say hi. It turned out that eventually we did discuss in the chat. He didn't grief me. He he apologized and said it was actually a mistake. And he lost control of his ship. But it could have been a griefer. Could have been a griefer. Anyway, I was the man of the guy. Uh, it's quite an adventure. I was quite baffled to see the ship landed back on its feet and it's still flyable after that, that shock. Anyway, let's go to Crusader L4 now. Here we go. Oh no, we are being interdicted. Oh, well, I hope it's not a criminal. We'll see uh, who does that. We're going to have to turn off the, the engines just in case it's the police. So we can see in the radar that these are not red. Um, these are not red targets. These targets are white or bluish. These are legal ones, so probably the police. So I'm going to press X for our space break. And we're just going to wait until they do their thing. And we're just going to leave after. So now the game is giving up enough time to to stop the ship. So this should be good. Where are these guys? Shouldn't be too far. Here they are. What do we have? A Valkyrie and two Cutlasses. Are these Cutlasses blue? Okay, and that's about it. It adds a little thrill just in case you are carrying things that you shouldn't be carrying, you know? That's okay, it's just... So, the problem, when you are interdicted, you have to clear the route and set the route again. I think that this is quite annoying. Uh, I would rather have the Quantum Drive uh, still, you know, having the right destination engage. Uh, well, I guess uh, Chris likes it when we do stuff in a game. Uh, to me, it's a nuisance. I would rather have... Um, I would rather not do this and just Quantum Drive already straight out of here to my destination. But it is what it is, right? Oh no, we're being interdicted again. That's the second time. This is a little bit annoying. So we're gonna aim emergency stop to zero. Oh, these are the same guys. Seriously. See, they've already scanned me. So they're not even going to, uh, to scan me a second time. Anyway, uh, we're going to uh, fast forward, I suppose. And uh, we're gonna go straight to Crusader 4. All right, here we go, Crusader 4. We are in the little Lagrange point, which is where you got these asteroid fields uh, that are just following the planet. Uh, actually, I found, saw some very interesting documentaries about how this was actually a thing, that asteroid fields do follow Lagrange point due to all the effects of, of gravity. And so maybe not that irrealistic after I, I know I did voice some concerns about that, I guess I was ignorant, and uh, I did. Uh, I have to apologize for my ignorance, my past ignorance, when I was saying that. Oh, why do we have these asteroids? This is so, uh, so Chris Roberts. But actually, yeah, turns out that it does have uh, some scientific relevance. Anyway, well, this is interesting because this little rest stops look a little bit like Port Orisar, except it's not Port Orisar. It's. Uh, it's uh, like it's uh, Hurston L4. No, not Hurston. What am I saying? Cruza Crusader L4, and we are just going to stop here uh, quickly, 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 so that we can repair. Hopefully, this is going to work. I've had a lot of people telling me that uh, the, the 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 refuel and uh, the refuel and repair stops. That's what R and R means, by the way. The refuel and repair stops are bugged. So we are going to see if they work or not. It's going to be uh, uh, an interesting uh, 
an interesting opportunity to update our little Star Citizen Alpha 3.6.0 checklist that I will be definitely updating at the end of this video. So, making our nice little approach, as you can see. Nothing too fancy, just uh, let's just go down here and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be positioning the ship properly as soon as possible so that we can uh, depart uh, as as well as possible when we leave uh, the station. So here we go, and we're going to turn the ship around. Hopefully, ah, hopefully without bumping in anything. This looks about right. Let's strafe down. Landing complete. Landing complete. Awesome. All right, we're just waiting for the little voice that says landing complete, and there you go, it's working. Repair, refuel. So apparently, uh, it does work. Now, the <laughs> the repairs are a little bit expensive, as you could see, uh, 2.5K, but it's a constellation. What did you expect? You know, repairing a constellation is expensive. It's a big ship. Fortunately, that delivery mission here is going to pay out. I think it's... it's uh, it's uh, the, the fee is like seven thousand four hundred, so I'm still gonna make more than five thousand for the for the delivery mission. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's magic! <laughs> the did you see, guys? That the ship was magically repaired. A little bit immersion breaking, in my opinion. Where are these repair boats? They're supposed to be repair boats that uh, were actually a stretch goal, if you remember, from a while back. Uh, these uh, repair boats were su was supposed to be swarming around on your hangars or landing pads to repair your ship. I just hope that uh, the Chris and, uh, and Co. haven't forgotten about these because they're supposed to be a thing eventually one day that is going to prevent us from just seeing these ships being magically repaired. Uh, yeah, not ideal, but, you know, at least it's working. The ship is repaired. So, uh, well, we're going to make our way to, uh, we're just going to make our way to, uh, to Crusader. Not Crusader. Why do I always say Crusader? We're just going to make our way to our Corp. Here we go. It's a little bit slow because I did not uh, put the full powers to the Quantum Drive. If you do that, it goes a little bit faster. Uh, yeah. My goodness, it's got to be on the other side of our core because this is actually one stage out of four, eh? Oh, I'm being interdicted, really? Really? Who dares? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was, uh, there was actually nothing. So I edited it out. We're back, uh, we're actually finally around our core, actually around Lyria, I should say. Around Lyria. And uh, I really like. Uh, that uh, that that white, hazy little atmosphere around Lyria. I think Lyria has some kind of. I mean, it makes me think of, uh, you know, somewhere around the North Pole. I think I'm when I'm going to Lyria. I feel like I feel like I'm going to see Santa Claus for some reason. I just like it. It's a it's a bit different than than Yella, which has this clear blue sky. Uh, Lyria is. Uh, it seems like it's it's it, it, the sky is a bit busier here. It is, it is. There's a little bit of, of snow here that is projected by all the gazers around. I cannot wait to see what CAG is going to do with the three moons of Microtech. Uh, so far, all the moons that we've had in the game have been quite different from one another. So CAG has made a pretty good job at... Uh, making sure all the moons are different. I wonder how this is going to, uh, if this trend is still going to uh, to happen with the upcoming moons. By the way, I'm speaking with uh, Zero G here, who is the person who ran my constellation. And he did say that he didn't have any crime stat for the, uh, the, the ramming, the unintentional ramming that he did uh, to my ship. I still believe he should have gotten gotten a crime stat for that because, uh, you know, I, I got to pay 2,500 alpha UEC. That's a lot of money. Uh, it's not even my fault. That's the guy's fault. And he doesn't even have a crime stat. So as far as I'm concerned, I would say that when I'm going to do the the, uh, the little 3.6.0 checklist, I am definitely going to put a meh uh, on the crime stat because, yeah, it's not working. Should have a, should have a, should have a level one. Even if it's not intentional.
Anyway, uh, we're still uh, going to make our way uh, towards uh, towards that little uh, Shubin mining facility over here. Oh, the sound is being weird. Let me uh, put it down. What is wrong with it? Uh, all right. <laughs> I hope that you guys are not going to hear that these crispy sounds. I don't know why the sound is a bit off today. Anyway, let's not go that fast. Let's hit space break. Is it going to work? And uh, nah, probably I'm going to have a... Oh, no. Nice. I'm actually right above the pad. So I'm, I'm pressing space break, but if I stop using space break, oh, I'm going way too fast. Uh, let's uh, go up again. Come on, Irad. Let's uh, take control of uh, of your ship. Practicing VTOL here, as you can see. Not easy. I know it's easy to complain about VTOL, but uh, it's another thing to actually practice and get better, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm not saying I'm great at it. I'm definitely not. But uh, so at least I'm trying to understand how this thing works. All right, we're just above the pad. As you can see, when the ship is wobbling like this, that is because of space break. Come on, just go down. Go down, go down, go down. Why am I going forward? Oh no, let's uh, bring back full power to the thrusters. The ship is going to crash. That would be very unfortunate. Oh well. Oh uh, well, let's not crash. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is a miracle. Let's just try to stabilize the ship. Let's just try to stabilize. Um, well, let, no damage, fortunately, no damage here. Let's go up. Let's get some altitude. Oh, I'm almost having a heart attack here. This is, uh, well, I, I, I fortunately, I have no cargo. Uh, but this is really tough. I definitely need to get better at this. Okay, let's go up. All right, just like a helicopter. Okay, I've got the I've got the pad dead ahead. Let's just land nice and easy. All right, I think I got this here. I've got I'm actually pressing S to slow the ship down. It's kind of working. I'm pressing S and control at the same time. Uh, I keep I try to remember it's just like a helicopter. Here we go. Landing complete. Awesome. We got this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, why do I have oxygen low? What the hell is going on? Um, oh, this is weird. Oxygen low. Is it really that bad? I got half an hour. Hmm. If I remember correctly, if I just... Because I'm in my ship and I got atmosphere in my ship. So if I just remove my helmet... The suit is going to replenish automatically, right? So let's do this. Let's, uh, where's the armor? Let's open the helmet, unequip. There you go. All right. And it should replenish, right? Let's see. Oh, it seems like the colors are fading. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, what the hell is going on? There is atmosphere here. But what is N-A-N? Non... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's the stupidest death ever. And this is entirely my fault. Because I actually have oxy pens. I should have pressed an oxy. I should have used an oxy pen, which is B. I'm so stupid. Anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's have a look at the checklist here. We are updating that with law and rest and uh, refuel. The law, meh, rest and uh, rest and refuel check. So that is uh, a little addition 
to our checklist. Big thanks to everybody who did help contribute to uh, getting this new PC. You guys are awesome. This is thanks to you. And I can test 3.6 because of you guys. So uh, big thanks to you guys. Big thanks to all the Patreons who are helping me on a monthly basis. You guys are also awesome. I really appreciate everything you've been doing for me. Uh, you guys are amazing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. It is really helping the channel a lot. If you want to see daily Star Citizen content, you may also get a notification. All right. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope to see you tomorrow in tomorrow's Star Citizen video. This is the Radikider. I'm signing out.